He's enjoying downtime with his wife, Roxy Jasenko, and their children on the Gold Coast. And while he might be away from the day job, all over Curtis' corporate bio has surfaced. The father of two works at Enome, which developed mobile medical records so people can participate in medical research, that was co-founded by his father, Nicholas. Scroll down for video corporate advisory and investment banking background specializing in the natural resources and startup space, Oliver's bio reads. Has advised on multiple billions of dollars worth of transactions as well as trade sales in a wide range of industries including in the medical space. was part of team that developed and successfully sold Glucaboy, a Game Boy-based children's diabetes incentive platform to Bayer. The profile then finishes up, saying where Oliver has done deals. Oliver has completed transactions in Australia, China, Africa, North America, Europe, Indonesia and Russia. Oliver was released from prison in June after serving 12 months of a two-year sentence for conspiracy to commit insider trading. He served time at Kuma Correctional Center. Roxy recently boasted that Oliver learned to make dumplings in prison, telling KIIS FM's Kyle and Jack Yo, he knows how to make a dumpling now. Those are the things you learn in Kuma Correctional Center. Roxy that Oliver had learned another unlikely skill in prison, hairdressing. He was in charge of cooking and hair cutting we named him Sergio, that's his alter ego. Sergio the hairdresser, she quipped. When quizzed about whether Oliver actually learned how to cut hair well, Roxy confessed, he didn't learn. He just had some scissors and cut everyone else's hair. Less than a month after his release from prison in June, Oliver proposed to Roxy for a second time during a romantic jaunt at Sydney's Four Seasons Hotel. They are now holidaying on the Gold Coast with their children, after Oliver enjoyed his first Christmas Day back with the family since his jail stint. Roxy had previously admitted that her marriage was in trouble when Oliver was in prison. She told Today Extra, it was hard. I had really made up my mind that that was it. It was a train wreck, Roxy said of her union with Oliver. I was done. There was so much water under the bridge. You've got to remember, yes, he went to jail for 12 months but I had five years in the lead up to that of the worry, what is going to happen tomorrow, what am I going to do? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.